right, so I thought since this for some is uh, a day when we're gathering with family and friends, I would just keep it short and sweet and allow the astrosonics affirmations to speak for themselves. As we gather in these sessions, what we're doing is combining our intention, as you know, to hold the highest frequency vibration and outcome for ourselves and our individual lives, but also to allow that collectively within our group to reverberate in our communities and bring about the highest vibration and outcome for our planet. God knows we need it. <laughs> so um, the harmonies and intentions are t for today are directed around the full moon that we had yesterday, the Libra full moon. And very simply, this is about balancing self with others. So we are harmonizing our ability to respect others' needs and maintaining healthy boundaries for ourselves. That's the delicate balance between Aries, self-directed, self-actualized, and Libra interacting with other people, whether it's partners, you know, significant others or business partners. So all of the affirmations today and the frequencies are centered around that. And it's something that is obviously important um, for everyone. So with that, I will just go right into the recording that I prepared for today. Sun with a full moon. I honor others' boundaries by taking care of my own needs and asserting personal principles honestly and fairly. This is the yod between the full moon, Jupiter, and Sedna. The deep inner wisdom and dream visions I receive now find manifestation in fair and equitable relationships that benefit myself and everyone involved. Sun with Pallas. Any action that I take now is inspired by divine wisdom and grace that benefits myself and everyone around me. Mercury with Uranus. I receive instant downloads and epiphanies from divine source and give them expression in grounded ways that benefit Earth and all her life.
Mars with Juno. I engage in new relationships and or contracts only when I know that there is an equitable flow and balance of energy that benefits everyone involved. Jupiter with Neptune. I receive new inspiration for my highest dreams and visions through the divine portal of infinite potential and unconditional love. Saturn with Juno. I recognize my own spiritual authority and sovereignty in every new relationship and or contract in which I engage. This is Saturn with the nodal rulers Pluto and Venus. I recognize my own spiritual authority and sovereignty as I release old patterns of giving my power away to untrustworthy entities and engage only with those who revere all life on our planet. This is Sedna conjunct the North Node using Venus. I am able to see all previous wounds and past traumas from a higher perspective now, enabling me to release the hurt, transcend the trauma, and receive lasting peace. This is Pluto with Sedna. I recognize the power within me to act as a channel for divine will, justice, passion, peace, prosperity, and the highest power of all, which is love, the only true source of healing. This is Ceres with Vesta. I now understand and put into practice that the only authentic way to rescue another soul is to shine my own sacred inner flame of wisdom.
So that ends today's Astrosonics affirmations. Before we close, is there anything that anyone wants to share? Any questions or comments? I am. Um, <clears throat> I'm so amazed by um, some of these. Well, all of them were um, very meaningful, but a few in particular just um, highly um, accurate to my experience this week, and um, particularly, I think it was Saturn with. Then I, I, I don't know. So the Pluto and Venus, Saturn with right. the nodal uh, rulers. Yeah. Um, maybe, you know, I'll save it for another day, the, the, the depth of it. But um, yes, yeah, so powerful. And um, thank you so much. My pleasure. Mm -hmm. I, I love doing this. When I was preparing them and, and just you know, allowing the phrases to come through, like the planets to speak to me and what wanted to come through in terms of supporting vibrationally our intentions, collectively and individually. I love doing this, I, I really do. And it does my heart good to have it received. <laughs> Just one person. Anyone else? Thank you, Emma. Thank you very much for sharing. Yes, the, I will just say that the last tone was particularly resonant, um, very powerful. And um, when you, in the beginning, you were talking about the full moon, uh, I, I've been waking up at 4 and 5 a.m., so I'm watching the sunrise. And on the full moon, uh, on the day of the full moon, as the sun was rising on the other horizon, that moon was just the most spec one of the most spectacular moons I've ever seen. Mm. And it was big and bold and red, a giant red moon. And I, I, it took my breath away. So yeah. this session was very, very powerful. Thank you. Thank you, Susan. And thank you for it. Absolutely. All right. Well, mm -hmm. if, if no one has anything else, I feel, do you feel complete <laughs> for today? <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, thank you again, all of you for being here. I, I really appreciate being able to connect in this way. So yeah. thank you and happy Easter. Happy Easter, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.